Our camera lens trained on one man. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. It's Crystal Palace. They face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. Welcome to Selhurst Park on what is a very pleasant night for football, I'm delighted to be able to report. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League, coming right up. It's Crystal Palace up against Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that... A chopping challenge, and the referee is going to have a big think about it. And the referee stamping his authority on the situation. He's decided to book him, Stuart. You can't get away with that, even this early in the game. That's a bad challenge.
well. Here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, but from a defensive point of view, it's not good enough. They stop marking in the box and don't close the scorer down. That's just poor defending. Well, he's not happy, of course, but Ten Hag needs to make some big calls here, get his side back into the game. Maguire. from United but really sticking to the task defensively another look at it certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better and then what a great finish as well good connection with the ball leaving the keeper with little chance it's a great goal blows the whistle bringing to an end the first half here at Selhurst Park well successfully kept in check Marcus Rashford much to his chagrin Stuart yeah he's just not found his form today he doesn't look quite right unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper they're going to lose this one
was. That will be a Dallas throw in. Just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Back in action, and it's looking rather like a matter of how many for Palace. Rafael Varan. 15 minutes left for play. Scott McTominay. Again, and they go short just to get a different angle on the cross and it's a comfortable finish in the end which is made to look so easy it's a lovely goal
were any lingering doubts. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Marcus Rashford. Under pressure, it seems to be bothering him. Tomlin. Rashford on him on the whole net. The chance they can get caught out on the break here. Can they take advantage of the situation? Nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. for full time plenty of positives for Palace their fans will go home happy on the back of this victory well it was a very assured performance wasn't it I was particularly impressed with their play going forward really lively almost cutting through a quick times. the result was never much in doubt if I'm honest no two ways about it he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings but he should be happy with his goal and the win but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more Overall, though, I thought he was excellent.